Gary, from what I understand, when it comes to the strategic aspects of getting Swift Fuel into the world, you're the person to talk to. How are you going to do this? Well, right now we're making a lot of good friends and uh, partners, such as Avfuel here, and uh, we're hoping that they'll be distributors. They are hoping to distribute also. That's going to be the start. Well, let's face it, uh, from a standpoint of uh, fuel distribution and so forth, it's a process that doesn't need to be reinvented or repeated in any way. So dealing with somebody who knows what they're doing is, is obviously off to a good start. But what is it that you have to do to be able to close the gap between we've got a great idea that can be certified and getting into the supply chain? Right now it's going to be a lot of patience. We are still going through the ASTM console. We need to finish up our materials compatibility. And we need to prove that, yes, we can do this. Everything says that we can, and we need to prove that to the world. Now, as I understand, your roadmap right now suggests that you can have this process uh, well on its way by 2012. Looking beyond that, what is the future for Swift Fuel? What do you envision this doing for this industry? Swift Fuel in itself, that'll solve a lot of the problems that people who are worried about 100 unleaded going away will have. We do think that we've got something that can handle the higher octane, and we actually even have variants that will high under the even higher octanes if needed. Beyond that, we're also working with the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base to help them with a few problems that they seem to be having, trying to find a replacement for JP-8. Oh boy, good luck with that one. Oh yes, it's looking very good. We just got the results within uh, about a month ago. Freedom through performance. At Cirrus, performance is not simply the measurement of a single design parameter. Rather, it's a total package. It's optimum balance of speed, efficiency, comfort, safety, ease of flight, and quality. We call it Cirrus Flying 2.0. Aren't you ready to feel the freedom? So there, there's actually quite a breadth to the whole future of Swift Fuel. Oh, definitely. We are also into racing cars. Believe it or not, 20 million gallons a year do go into racing cars. They need that higher octane. Sounds like a good market. Well, it's a small market, but you know, if they're dedicated, we can be dedicated too. What's it going to take to convince this industry that one, you have the right solution, and two, that Ma and Pa Aviator need to be pulling up to the local air fuel pump and pumping them some Swift fuel? I think it's going to be the fact that we have to prove it. But we do have FAA support in what we are doing. We have AFUEL's report. We've got Embry Riddle University working with us. They're going to be doing the first uh, set of STCs. These are people that we need on our side going through the ASTM may have taken a bit, a bit longer, but it's actually given us an entree to a lot of people we'd never have, would have contacted. And we, if we had to prove it one by one, that's what we're gonna do. Have there been any major disappointments or roadblocks along the way that have had to be surmounted? Or is there anything in the future that really scares you about this process? For our process, no, there hasn't been anything that bad. You've already heard about Smokey Young setting that speed record. We have a lot of people who have flown with this fuel, and it has not been a problem. I think my major worry right now is that uh, all the old companies are actually talking about doing a 100 ultra low lead, wherein they would cut their lead down to 1.6 grams instead of 2 grams. And that would put off us being able to enter the market because we'd still have that major competition going on. Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer. We're having to go farther and farther, deeper into the ground, and let's face it, a lot of those countries that are, we're getting oil from now are not exactly our friends. Final question, you, since you're the uh, strategic side of things here, let's pull out the Swift Fuel crystal ball. Is it going to happen? Yes, it has to, or else 
we're all going to be dead sitting here with our planes on the ground and no way to get them off. Figuring out how to launch gliders from the, from the ground, right? That's about it. <laughs> Mary, thank you for your time.